The U.S. Supreme Court sends the decision on presidential immunity back to the lower court. A look at what this means for former President Trump and the election interference case right here in Georgia. The Supreme Court issuing its ruling in a landmark case that could have an impact on November's election. Thanks so much for joining us. For Fox 5 News at 4, I'm Christine Spiro. The justices said former presidents, including Donald Trump, enjoy a certain amount of immunity from prosecution. We have team coverage on this historic decision. Fox 5's Rob Dorienzo has a look at what this means for the former president and the Georgia election case. We begin first with Fox 5 anchor Russ Spencer live in studio here with more on the court's ruling, Russ. Uh, Donald Trump saying this is a big victory for him and for democracy. In a 6-3 ruling along the political divide of the court, the justices decided that presidents have immunity for official acts carried out in office, but do not have immunity for unofficial ones. The decision sends former President Trump's election interference case back to a lower court to decide whether his actions were official or unofficial. It also delays his trial in Washington ahead of the November election, meaning that if he wins, he can tell his Justice Department to drop the cases. Now, prosecutors have accused the former president of illegally scheming to cling to power after he lost to President Biden. The ruling amounts to a major victory for the presumptive Republican presidential nominee, whose legal strategy has focused on delaying the proceedings. Uh, the former president reacted to the ruling, telling Fox News Digital, this is a, quote, big win for our Constitution and for democracy. Uh, the Biden-Harris campaign also weighed in, saying this does not change the facts of what happened on January 6th. So was the call to Brad Raffensperger on January 2nd, asking for 11,780 votes, an official act or an unofficial one? Uh, they're going to disagree about that, and we'll see what happens in yeah, court. Yeah, there was no decision on what is official and what is unofficial by exactly. the Supreme Court, right? So like you said, it will still be debated. Uh, Russ, thanks so much.